as with anything, if you've got advantages, you've definitely got some disadvantages to it. And social media sometimes has some of the worst. Uh, you've got potential wasted time and money that you've put into it from a return on investment point. Uh, it can be difficult to measure the actual return that you're getting off social media. Uh, it's often not too bad if it's a direct click from your social media page through to a buying page. But if it becomes a case of where you're going from the social media page to physically having to attend the store to purchase something that you can't reserve online, uh, it can be difficult to measure that kind of influence. Um, you've also got the rapid spread of the wrong kind of information. How often do you see where a comma that's changed the entire context of a message that you're trying to put out, this sort of thing can have massive effects for your business. Um, same with similarities in names online. You can have the same name in America as you can in France and there would be two completely different companies that aren't even related in the slightest but you only have to get it slightly wrong online and the the company in France might get completely slated for something that the company in America has been had done um, so these negative reviews can have a massive massive effect on the kind of the customer's perception of the company and the way that you deal with it can have a mass it can have a massive ongoing effect of kind of customer retention or uh, kind of trust with your brand from your customers